Hi, so um, this is just a video on how we do packaging at Pretty Disturbia. I tried to keep costs as low as possible, but obviously I like um, nice quality um, packaging so that people feel special when they uh, open their order. So um, we have two types of poly bags, uh, red spotty ones and these big red ones. Um, the third choice is the spotty one, these are kind of back up. These are a lot bigger, so they're for like, bulkier items or more than one or two. Um, but most of the time, I try and cut them in half. And if you are cutting them, <coughs> um, literally cut them down the middle of the bag because otherwise it's a waste and you can't get anything in the smaller section. Post office are quite uh, strict on how you package things. So like, if you do have a parcel um, and you use one of the big bags and it's like folded like this, that's stuck down there. Um, they don't like a gap in, gap in between the parcel and the bag because um, like letters can get stuck in there. So apart from it being waste of a bag and costing double the amount for this poly bag um, for an order, um, it's an inconvenience to our mail. You'd have to facilitate down the side. So that's why we try and make it as small as we can. Um, another thing when packaging we've got to bear in mind is the size of parceling parcels because um, if you have a parcel that fits in the small parcel section it's £2.80 and if it fits in a large letter which is um, that thick and that size of it that it's A4 pretty much um, then it's uh, like half the price. We try and make it as flat as possible um, and so it fits in that gap because obviously it's half the price to send it. Um, I spent £100 on, on packet um, sending posts at the post office so obviously we'll try and keep our costs down. So bear those things in mind whenever you pack packaging. Every order, um, everyone gets a handwritten note like this. Uh, it says, it's a returns form and it says thanks so much for your order with the name. We really hope you like it. It's got the date, what shop it was from, the reference and then a description. To be fair, I normally fill these in but if you do, that's the information that you need. Um, I like to check every order and I like the consistency of my own writing. So, feel special to people. So everyone gets a returns form. They have two weeks to return it, it says on here. Um, if it's for eBay, there's no returns returns form or Depop. So every order gets that, and every order gets one of these discount um, codes. So that goes in the front of every order, unless it's eBay or Depop, and you just get the discount code. So don't forget that. We need to make a thing as flat as possible. Um, we'd like, and we like the nice packaging, we put everything in a poly bag. Uh, so a clear bag like this, it's folded as neat as possible uh, with the top of the top at the front um, and then the two forms. So that's what it should look like. If it's pretty disturbing, yeah, you need to double check that there's um, a hand sewn label into it um, and it's got a swing tag on. So, you know, packaging is really important in presentation. Uh, once it's been in the poly bag and you put your forms in, then we wrap it in tissue paper. Um, I've got lots of red tissue. I do ch tend to change the colour on depending on what's available. It's normally cream or red. Um, and we fold it so that it's folded, it's doubled up there at the front so it just looks nice and clean. There's always a start, um, a heart sticker on the front and at the back we just turn it in at the back and use a little bit of solid tape so that it just looks really nice and clean on the front. When it's done like that, so you've got your your item in a poly bag like this with the forms it's wrapped in tissue then it goes into a poly bag it's just wrapped in one of these uh, as well as that we've got the address label um, and you either sellotape that on the front or use a document holder to you stick it on the front and peel it off and um, I haven't actually got any at the moment to show you but yeah you could just sellotape this on or do the document uh, label on the front of the parcel so um, you can see the finished article when it's done. Don't forget the returns form, don't forget the discount voucher, make it as thin as possible, as neat as possible, don't waste any tissue paper either, you know, if you can cut it in half, do, um, and don't waste the bags either, yeah, to economise, because we are an ethical brand and we don't like waste.